Welcome back to Friday Night Lights. Originally scheduled for Thanksgiving night, then moved to Sunday afternoon. The Ravens Steelers game has been changed yet again. The NFL announced on Friday that the game will take place on Tuesday night, December 1st at 8 p.m. Baltimore was also scheduled to play Dallas next Thursday night. That game has now been moved to Monday, December 8th at a 5 p.m. Eastern Time kickoff. Speaking of the Steelers, two friends had a chance to catch a game together last week in Jacksonville. Compliments of James Conner. Mike Gallagher has the story from there. In this crazy Steelers season of 2020, the one thing that means more now than ever is getting to see the black and gold live and in person. While this crowd leaving the Jacksonville game might make it look like there were no fan restrictions, there were. And most of the selected fans in the game were there as part of Steeler Nation. Two fans who just the day before were playing in a college volleyball game for their school in South Alabama managed to be among the fans with tickets and traveled to Florida to see their team play. One of these players had an inside track to her great seats. You see her dad is James Connor's high school football coach. One thing we've all learned about Connor is that he does not forget those people from his past. I'm just honored knowing James. Like it's really cool to see someone out there from Erie and someone that I kind of grew up with. Um, he played great. Uh, I don't know how he does what he does, but he does it. So thank you, James. Tickets are limited. How did you get yours? James Connor. <laughs> Um, I was an honorary Steelers fan for the day, and it was definitely the best NFL game I've ever been to, so thanks, James, for that. Connor not only scored the duo tickets, he managed to throw them his gloves at the end of the game just to say thank you for making the trip to see him play. And that is the best day of my life. Thank you, thank you James. Thanks, James. Best day of my life. And two of the NFL's young stars at quarterback meet in Orchard Park on Sunday afternoon. Thad Brown has more with the Bills report. Justin Herbert is on pace to break the NFL records for passing yards and touchdowns in a rookie season. Even though Sunday here in Orchard Park will only be Herbert's 10th NFL start, the Bills know they will have plenty of issues dealing with the Chargers passing game. It's not play like a rookie, and he's basically leading that offense. I mean, he's He's really the, the reason they're having so much success as an offense, and that's unusual this early uh, in, in a rookie's career. He's very impressive. I don't know I, that I can remember a rookie quarterback, um, you know, without comparing guys. I mean, he's just done a great job. I think uh, their coordinator, uh, Shane Steichen, does a great job putting him in positions, and, and uh, they've got weapons around him. So he came into a say what I would consider a favorable situation also, which is also healthy for a young young guy and, and uh, he's he's tough he's got a, a big arm he's smart um, and uh, what, what, what more could I say about him he's off to a great start uh, his release his accuracy his mobility uh, he's a smart player he just has a lot of good qualities uh, and has a very good size as well so a lot of positives and we got to find a way to you know affect him on, on, on Sunday yeah man he's playing Playing extremely well. Um, he's, a, he's an extremely talented young quarterback who's got a lot of bright future in this league. Um, he's throwing the ball well. He's got you know weapons on the outside and, and Keenan Allen, Hunter, Hunter uh, Henry, and, um, and 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 Mike. And uh, you know he's got some guys that can take the top off the off the defense. And so um, you know, I think that offense you know fits his style of play. Um, you know, and, and for us, though, we're, we're going to have to limit their explosive plays and, and not allow them to run the football. There have been comparisons between Justin Herbert and Josh Allen because both guys are big and strong with rocket arms and enough athleticism to avoid a rush. Sean McDermott admits that he can see those comparisons, adding that Herbert, quote, has the potential to be a special QB. With the Bills Report in Orchard Park, I'm Thad Brown.